What's up guys, Sergic here, and welcome back to Get to Memories, the Vigil Novel. <sighs> guys, I want to end this game. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make this video as long as possible. Okay, I'm, I'm going to try. <laughs> Let's get straight to it. You, already got, you guys already know what we're playing. You guys know my name. Let's do this. And anyway, when on the next day, you are a perfect gentleman today, Summoner. Did I just quack? Hey guys, if I, if I don't sound that energetic, I just woke up. Thank you, Lilith. I also had a lot of fun today with you. I say that so sarcastically. Today, Lilith and I, and I had a date. I promised them during this fun and exciting day, I got to know her better. I finally expand time with, together with her. Stop quacking. <laughs> Stop! Today, I also learned that one of the reasons why Lilith is really present Whenever I'm around playing with Uni, it's because she is the owner of the motel and the popular resort beach near Vinny City. I really appreciate it. If you stop quacking! Being a succubus, one of the ways she can sustain herself uh, is by absorbing the energy guaranteed by affection and love. And what better place to have as a feeding spot than a motel dedicated, obviously, for couples? Okay. Love in the air. It's a literal thing for the Lilith and also the source of the power. Lenny's loads for her is the main thing that keeps her alive. And I'm t and in turn, the Lilith's love for her master also serves as a power source for her. Okay, one way to describe Lilith would be as being who lives for love. Passionate love between couples is perfectly strong for her, which is why she likes t teasing and making dirty jokes so much. It's one of the, her ways to show affection. Okay. Wait, I'm more, I'm more worried about that duck, not this. <laughs> Who was? Where's the duck coming from? And to such a description, Lilith spent to the majority of her day flirting, but then shooting very embarrassing and and studios at me. But I didn't really mind it. In fact, I did my best to trade those with her, even though she got me beat by a larger margin of being dirty. Another thing I learned today: Lilith was never meant for it to combat. In fact, her offensive ability was our limit to her and energy. Drain her spears of darkness in her bath, and the last of which can she can use to make a spell that she calls the chaos detention. Deten deten oh, God, which is her strongest attack. Okay. Well, her role was to be a partner. She was never meant to be someone who fights, but rather someone who who Luni can co confide and trust and seek comfort from her. She ma was made to heal the wounds of loneliness from Luni's heart. However, even Lilith gets the arch to be uh, protective of Fairly Master, which is why she took up to combat training, but she was never really a strong person. The corruption incident was the first time Lilith was ever asked to fly, I mean, fight directly by a very different and uh, warped Looney. Okay. Lilith told me that even as warped as Looney was, she was still her master, someone Lilith loved with her very being, so she followed her orders to the best of her abilities. When she was defeated, Lilith thought she would disappear forever, but a miracle had happened. She had said with a terrible smile, Luni mentally regained her sanity. As long as enough to send Lilith to the safe place, Luni loved her for circumstances was so great. It also allowed her to overcome the corruption to protect her. And she said that she was she owed both me and Lily a great deal because she we made the masters she loved so much come back to our senses. That the day that date had been very intelligent, but because I got to know Lunia and others have, because I also got to know some more about Lunia herself, as the day was ending, Lilith asked me that why intentions with the both of them were. And my answer is that very close. I wanted to make them happy. The smile Lilith gave me was very beautiful. I stared at it for a while longer as to continue walking. I bet I look creepy. Stop quacking right now. I don't know where that came from. As I was returning, I came across this store, a pat. Pet store and no pet store and very nice idea came to me. I didn't want to make them happy after all, so I bought a duck. It's a gift to Looney. Okay, that explains it. The little girl is quite. Li oh crap! I skipped it. Lily is happily played with a cute duckling on her arms. Okay, even though Lily doesn't share Looney's enormous passion towards ducks, she still loves them just as much as they are connected after all. Do you think Looney would like her? Probably. Of course, if I love her, then he will absolutely follow for this cute lady. Okay. And she loves you forever. Okay. <laughs> I'm just saying okay to everything. Ha, <laughs> thanks, Lily. I called Lily earlier, and she's had something to talk about in person. She will make a portal for us soon. And sure enough, a portal just appeared in the middle of the room. Ready, Summoner? Of course, Lily. Let's make Looney happy. With the ducklings and the towel, we made our way towards Looney's house. 
I can tell that Looney's very happy. And dang it, my parents got moved. I got to end the video. <laughs> That's ended here, guys. Bye-bye.